Ugh. Dang it. I just broke a nail. Dang, man. I have the haul video or a haul video to share with you guys of the things that I picked up at the estate sale that I went to over the weekend that's the video that I posted um, that was an interesting sale I have to tell you I was a little leery about going to the sale in the first place because when I saw the advertisement for it um, just the way I thought well I thought it was going to be expensive by the way they advertise it and how they did the photos. Um, so I thought, okay, they're going to be a little pricey. But I also didn't think it would be as disorganized as it was, judging by the photos. Because everything was set up like a museum. Which, I think I have a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, which is why... Um, I thought you know okay this place is gonna be pricey so oh, I was like I don't know and I was talking to my mom and she was like well you know what it would be cool video to get you know just to, to share with people so I was like you know you're right so it started on Thursday um, their ad said that for the first hour or no for the first day for on Thursday they were just gonna show jewelry which is why I didn't go um, a lot of the jewelry that they had <clears throat> he showed pictures of and I could zoom in and see prices, and I was like, mm-mm, not going to that one. Definitely collector prices. Um, so then I was out and about, and I some, was standing in line, and someone was like, oh, did you hear about the estate sale? And I was like, which one? And they told, said that one, you know, and they said, oh, for the first hour, they were doing jewelry. And I was like, what do you mean for the first hour? I thought it was the first day. I said, no, they had so much that for the first hour it was jewelry and then they started the rest. And I like died inside because in one of the photos was like this great glass cabinet that had all these like vintage Christmas and these little elves and things like that, which in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have got them anyway because I'm sure he probably had those things like, I mean, I don't know if you saw in the video, but the little poodle um, figurines, no matter how like big or small they were in those cases were twenty dollars you know so i can only imagine what those were but nevertheless on friday i went and they were gone that i didn't even like see that case i mean they were they weren't even there so i walked around and i picked out a few things and i brought them up there and there was two guys one guy I noticed was being real quiet and he, you know, the ladies would come up to him and they would like hold a few things and he'd be like, $3, you know, real low, like, you know, and I was like, I'm going to his line. But the other guy kept butting in. He kept coming back over to me like, oh, so are you done? I'm like, listen, I need you to go away. <laughs> like, you need to get off me, man. <laughs> so I could not for the life of me, like get with the other guy. It was the extensive guy that just kept coming back. So the first bit of things that I brought up there was these cardboard boxes that had like dividers in them and you could wrap up your Christmas ornaments and store them inside. Well, I thought maybe judging by other estate sales and yard sales that I've gone to that he might've given me one deal. No, he counted each individual ornament and each box came to like one was like 16 one was like $18. <laughs> and then I had a plastic bin, like a little plastic shoe bin of empty um, jewelry boxes, like cardboard ones that like they would give you at TJ Maxx or something if you're buying a pair of earrings. And they were all empty. And he said it'd be $25 for that. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, okay, I need to reevaluate some stuff. You need to reevaluate your stuff. <laughs> I'm like... I need it. Mm -mm, no. So I put those back. I went through every little slot of ornaments and 
I was just gonna be like, okay, whatever's plastic and I don't care for, I will put them in my booth in a bag. Someone can buy them as a set real cheap and they'll be, you know, gone and done. But I couldn't do that this time. I, I had to go through it and I picked out the ones that were glass, the ones that I liked, and I was able to find some boxes of ornaments that um, that like the ornaments would have come in at the store and they were missing. So I was able to like put them in there and lo and behold, when I went up, he charged me for the box instead of per individual ornament. Like I don't understand what this guy was doing. So this is what I did. I found this box. None of these ornaments go together, but they were all in the cases of the or ornament organizer. <laughs> And so he charged me like one price. Now, when I counted everything out that day when I got home, um, I don't remember, I was telling my mom I did the math because it's like Tuesday and that was Friday. Um, I wanna say it was 74 cents a piece. So like for the box, or did I count each thing? I think I might've counted each thing because that's how he would have done it in the first place. I don't remember, but it was like 74 cents. So. That was a really long intro about this, but I had to set the scene for you guys. You know what I'm saying? And then this has a couple of broken pieces mixed or like floating around in here. Um, it does have a $2.99 Big Lots thing, but for Bianca's little, um, little scenes and things that we want to make, I think this would be cool. And again, since he bundled it all, I don't know if it was like I don't and I don't know if when I was counting it for my mom if I just did this as I think I counted each individual item because that's how he would have done it in the first place I think <laughs> I don't know all right so I got that and then these are newer but they're still really small and cute this little pack of ornaments like I wouldn't and I, I, would, I will not go back to another one from this company, another estate sale. Then there is this, which had a really cute box. And again, I went in and I put all the ornaments that I thought went there. It's a nice little box like that. And I did not pay a quarter. So I got that. And then in the shed, we found this bag, me and Bianca. And it's a bunch of like plastic horses and I didn't look anything up while I was there because it was bad enough trying to walk around let alone and trying to film <sighs> but these say like fun rise 1988 when I got home I did look them up and I think I only looked up one and they don't really sell for that much but there's like a plastic or is he plastic He's not heavy, so he must be, but he's missing his hat, a jockey, you know. So these will probably go in my booth, but I got that whole bag. I got this fairy tales book that really isn't worth anything other than it has really cool pictures. So if someone wanted to buy it for like collaging or something or, um, um, art like nursery art or something a lot of people do that they'll buy these little kids books and take them apart put and put them in frames and put them in their nursery we got i got these the first day i saw all these little cupcake things um these say 2007 so they're 12 years old i mean nothing fantastic the second day is what you saw i told bianca to grab these off the counter I grabbed these little ones and these don't have a date on them. Grab those. Those will have to go on eBay. Someone was already asking me about them. They'll have to go on eBay um, because of their age. Um, I also found this. This is making me think I'm missing something. Maybe it's in here. Okay, I'm not missing anything. Okay, cool. So I got this little singer. Um, it's like a teal turquoise. It's called a swing. No, not singer. Singer is a sewing machine. 
swing line cub it's a little baby one i already have this listed on ebay um let's see oh i got this oh and this is so cute okay so it's probably i just spit everywhere <laughs> it's probably um like 1990s 2000s and i have this listed in my etsy shop but it's a little like if you had a little tree hold on has the little thing here and i'm right by the plug so i can plug it in for you see oh wait let me pull down the blind Maybe that. Isn't that pretty? See, these two don't look it, but they're blue. Wait, these two are blue. But yeah, I got that. And it's in my shop right now in my Etsy shop. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I mean, well, you know what I mean. Come on. That one's really cute. It's a little inside like foil so I got that there and then oh gosh Bianca wants this I think I have this list no this is not listed yet this was one of the items oh my gosh I had so much trouble my phone my I have an iPhone iPad you know Mac computer they all did updates and it and within the update it updated the like the camera and the photos and it changed the way that it saved photos. So it changed it to like HEIC um, files instead of JPEG files, which is like a better, more space efficient file, but places like YouTube and Etsy and eBay, they haven't caught on with that type of file format. So I couldn't upload any of them because they weren't in like JPEG or PNG or anything. So I had to retake all my photos. So this I think, I'm thinking I have it listed, but I really don't because it was one of the ones, I'm pretty sure, that I had to retake pictures of. But it's this Fisher Price picnic basket, and it's from 1974. So it's really cute. It would have come with some food, and I want to say, my mom was looking it up, a bear cup, but it was really cute. It was on the shelf, and I grabbed it. I stayed clear of anything with a price tag. I don't know if I already said that, but I can't say that enough. Then I found this bag of M&M toppers. You guys remember these? Getting those candy canes at Christmas and these little guys would be on the top. Well, most of these are actually from like 1993, 1995. Um, this cute little fella. I used to collect M&Ms. Oh my gosh, I had so many M&Ms. M&Ms and Hot Wheels. This little guy is the only one that doesn't have a date on him. But these are so cute. And I was pleasantly surprised to see they do actually sell pretty well. So these are in my eBay right now. I, sh I should probably cross post them. Oh, wait. Well, I couldn't if it was the whole lot. <sighs> but they're in my eBay store. Then I got these beauties. These are pewter and they're modern. They're still being sold right now. There's one, one, one lonely drawer pull that I, well, knob that I found <clears throat> on eBay. The other listings for these are actually like stores online, like Western stores. Um, there, these are like horses with a rope. So very equestrian. It's by Vincenza. Or no, wait. Yes. No. Vicenza. Not Vincenza. Vicenza. Um, but they're all pewter. And these things in those. Um, I got those. And in those online stores. Those are like $68 a pull. So they're in my eBay store for cheaper. But this is the knob. So this lady had some horse stuff in her house. So I'm thinking she liked horses. Horses and poodles. She had some poodles. I wish I could have got some of those figurines. But I was not going to do it. Was not going to pay that man's money. I got these Ultimart pinking shears 
they're still like brand new in the box say made in japan well maybe she kept them in the box i can't say for sure for sure if they're like brand brand <laughs> brand brand new <laughs> they say chrome ultim wait unimart did i say ultimart unimart or did i say i don't know <gasps> japan made in japan so these are just regular pinking shears really cool in the box model triple a i don't know if I, what i said <sighs> my brain then we got these little itty bitty little let me swipe my screen there little bitty ornaments they're just little teeny baby ones they're like hold on Ooh, got this guy these might be hard to see because of this not cooperating camera <sighs> this way so one of the camera's the other way it focuses better on littler stuff so anyways bag of those then there was just this little lonely plastic girl this angel girl it's like a really thin like maybe celluloid type plastic I think that was it. Okay, so then I got a whole bag filled with cookie cutters. And there's a couple of them that I'll show you that I actually thought were neat. I mean, they're all neat, but a couple specifically. Okay, this one I thought was neat because on the inside it says 12 cents. I mean, it's not a cool like shape. It's just a typical belt. This one I thought was neat because it still has green paint on the handle then this little hatchet i thought that was cool just because of its shape and then we had of course this halloween cat is amazing and i don't think they're marked anything that i saw but there was quite a few there's like a duck a gingerbread guy a crown a heart this bunny that's on a string quite a few of those I got some command strips oh and I also got a thing of cat litter like a you know the jug of cat litter I got that was brand new I got a brand new mop I got I think it's under here some Febreze and then I got some of this cleaner here that's supposed to smell like orchids so those and yes these then I got this bag of bells. Not very many. But this second card. Hold on. They're not the ones that are like sewn on. But they're made in Taiwan. They have a vintage Eckerd's. Which was like. Um, CVS took over Eckerd's here. They're like Walgreens. You know. And then it says. Distributed by Jack Eckerd Corp, Clearwater, Florida. Made in Taiwan. And I used to live right by there. So I got those. And then those are not from the sale, that's from somewhere else. Okay, there was a, if you guys saw in the video, there was a part of the, um, I was in the office and then right in front of me there was a, like a shadow box that had ribbons. And I was looking at it, I was like, okay, um, like the woman that was in the photo was the stock photo that would have came with the shadow box and these were just kind of tucked in. So it wasn't anything like anything I was ruining, you know? So I got a few ribbons and there are four schools that are around here. And on the back, they wrote down what it was for. Like this says January 14th, 1962, Sunday afternoon, eighth in something i can't read their scribble so and then it says class of 11. and then this one says september 30th 1961 third in barrels straight i don't know something for horses and jumping and all kinds of stuff because she had all kinds of stuff like that there and this one says november 4th 
1961, Menard Pole. I'm thinking that says landing because it almost looks like it says bending. <laughs> so I got those ribbons. I thought those were really neat. My hands feel dirty all over again. Let me tell you, I washed my hands in their sink in the kitchen quite a few times and I had my hand sanitizer with me. I grabbed these that were in the bathroom, these marbles. Then there was some ornaments. See, they were wrapped like this, but, um, oh my God, I feel so gross and itchy. This stuff is gross. Um, they were wrapped in, they were in those boxes and I didn't have another little ornament box to stick them in. So I kept them in tissue paper, but this is more of those. And their tops, I want to say, say Poland. Yep, Poland. So I got those three colors. Then I got this guy. Then, I think that's the last thing in this box. I got these two and I don't say anything. And then this bell. So that was the last thing in that box, right? I showed you that, showed you that. This is gonna be a long video. Then it said their DVDs and CDs were a dollar didn't say anything about sets or anything like that. So I brought up these three sets of Dr. House, which I love, I think is hilarious. Um, and I even said, I go, there's signs back there that says DVDs and CDs are a dollar. Are you gonna open these up and count each individual CD as a dollar or are you just gonna sell them to me as a dollar? He was like, I'll give them to you as a dollar. So that's probably the best deal I was able to get from that guy. Um, then I thought this is really cool. It's a Coda slide compartment file made in Rochester, New York. It's so nice. The ones that I've seen online, the paint's all crappy on them and they don't go for very much, unfortunately. Probably, I mean, without all these slides, ugh, I'm trying to open it. Without all the slides, I think they go for, they were going for like $15. Oh my gosh, why can't you open? There we go. So it has all of these slides. A lot of them are horse jumping, but there's a few of them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So here's one of the slides I was talking to you guys about, how you can see the vintage Christmas tree there. That's one. Here's another one. Has their puppy in the photo with their presents and their tree. Here's another one. But there's a few of a girl standing in front of a vintage Christmas tree. These are very, all these slides are very 1950s, 1960s images. So I got that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, there's more down here. Bianca found these. These are like the little ones that I got in the bucket of stuff from my antique booth. They, they say 2005 and they're from Target and they were $13 originally. So 2005, they're like 15 years old. You're on your way to be in vintage little fellas. Yes, you are. And then we got this, wait, did I do that math right? Something like that. I was never good at math. <laughs> uh, got this Cracker Barrel um, teeth. <sighs> Let's try that again. 
this cracker barrel <laughs> tree topper there we go and this doesn't have a date but it was originally $12.99 so we got that that'll probably go in my booth I haven't really looked it up online yet so I think oh and then there was two boxes of this on the first day and I didn't go back to get it and then Bianca spotted this the images and she's like oh my gosh mom that's so cool and I said oh I know I forgot to like go back for it um but the other box was gone I we didn't see where it was so we got this one little box just for it says it's for candle making but um but just the images right there is really cool so we got that and then Something made, I know this might be weird, but something made me grab these. I don't know if these are older. Oh, wait, that's broken right there. Darn it. Darn it. But there are certain Mardi Gras beads, beads that are collectible. So that's what made me grab these. But a couple of them, the tips of the mask area, like this, is broke off. Boo. But. We got that. I think that was it in that basket. Oh, there was this little guy. Random. And then, okay, so I'm winding down. I got a few more things. We got these little flower light covers. I don't know about these, the age of these either. I just thought they were kind of cool. These little flower, they go on, you know, your light, strand of lights. Got that. We got this really cool green toolbox that's red inside. How per perfect. <laughs> Can't talk today. Is that. So I gotta wash that out. Got that. And then I think that. Okay, wait, no. I got a couple more things. And then I just have books left to share with you guys. Um went to the garage which is or the shed which is where I found that toolbox and there was a box that had these buttons in them and yes the buttons you know they're cool you know I like buttons and stuff but these jars are awesome these are old ball jars when we go metal detecting this is usually what we find a lot of times the lid is real because it's like like um, a galvanized metal it's real like thin but we'll find these glass, like bits of this glass uh, insulator thing here, the milk glass. <clears throat> so these are real cool. And if you ever see one of these jars, the one that's worth the most is the one that has, like this has number six. I don't know if you can see that. Six right there. Number 13, because 13 was an unlucky number. So they smash them. Like that says number five had buttons in there and again it's really cool it has the lid and the insulator and it said well it said ball right there so the guy was like I was being such a like smart butt with him because he was annoying me um but he was like well you have the jars and you have the buttons and I was like are you gonna count each button too because I can't have that but I got those and then, I don't know if this jar is older, but it was this whole thing of buttons. This kind of throws me off, this handle, thinking that it's older, but it's not marked or anything. But all those buttons, I got all those from the garage or from the shed thingy. Okay. Last thing that's not a book is, this is not old, but it's nice. I got this Halloween sign. It was probably from like maybe Hobby Lobby or something. Pretty cool. Put that right there. Now the last thing I have is books and then we will be all done. And you guys can go about your business. So I got this one. Got Collecting American Country. How to select, maintain, and display country pieces. And I love when you get these and they're in color. So, 
got that book and that book originally uh, I don't know is a $35 book back in its day oh and I got this I was in the bag too this is actually a little wall applique from 1966 gotta look that guy up I got this see she liked horses got this and it's actually an unused address book So I thought that was cool with the pretty horses on the front. Then, oh my gosh, I didn't get this the first day, but I told Bianca on the second day, I went home and I thought about this book. I was like, I have to get it. The first day I didn't because for one, he was making me mad for the prices. And two, it's like completely coming away. But look, like look what a little kid drew. Pauline. See, look, it's completely coming off. Pauline drew that. And you, so this was a, a 19, I think it, what was it? A 1920s coloring slash paint. It says instructions for the little painter, but um, it says drawing and painting book. So this is their like coloring book. And it gave you instructions here of what to color here. And then I think there was some writing in the back. Pauline Cook did this, it says. But so I just couldn't leave it. It would probably most likely end up in the trash or something, but it would make a really cool display. And even Bianca was like, oh, if you did like back to school or something, mom, or whatever, I got that. Then I got collecting little golden books. So this whole book, I mean, it's not um, colored, but it's all about golden books. So a couple of um, books I have listed up in my eBay already, but I'm gonna get to those. Gotta get to everything. Oh my gosh, Bianca wanted this. This is actually the lady that, um, that lived there at that estate, Mrs. Uh, Lyman. Then we got this 50 collectible horses handbook and price guide. But again, it's in color. Oh, what's coming out? Ah, oh, too bad it wasn't money. Lots of cool things about horses. And then I'll save my three favorites for last. I love books. Do you guys like books? I love books. We got books about, a book about buttons, identification and price guide. Look at that. I love colored pages. So a price guide for buttons. That was a $17 book in its day. The horses were 20 little golden book was 30 so and I got the books for a dollar <laughs> kitchen collecting oh the ones that I have listed are actually in my garage I put them up <laughs> but these are all those kitchen tools that I never can seem to find at a decent price one with the colored handles that everyone loves oh I wonder if my grandma's ice cream scooper is in here I have her ice cream scooper I don't know much about it. I just know it was hers and my mom had it and then I took it. I wonder if you're in here. Ooh, it looks like that. Well, that's plastic. Well, ooh, look at this. Salt and pepper shakers. But it has this like style, this body style, but mine is all metal, that one's plastic. But yes, kitchen collecting. Then we have the pokey little puppy first Christmas. And this one luckily doesn't have any kind of, that I've seen, children's drawing in it. No scribbleization. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good. <laughs> so that one's in really good shape. And this one is from 1973. The other book that I have in there is in the garage um, that I have listed is um, California Pottery, collecting that one because I already have that book. 
and Black Beauty. It was a version from the 1940s and it was saved in a plastic like dust cover and it's really nice. And then we have Holiday Collectibles. Do you guys see this? The only thing is most of it is in black and white. So you really don't get the <gasps> factor. Look at that. So you get some colored pictures, but holiday collectibles, yay. And then this one, look at this. Look at that, Christmas collectibles. And this one is in color, my friends. Look at that. Some of these things I've never, I didn't even know existed. And that goes, and that goes for the same, like with seeing stuff on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. Would have never known it was in existence because obviously this is not my time frame. So, but anyways, I got that. And then the last three books that are my favorite, 40 long minute video. I got this, this Shakespeare's birthday book. And what I think this was, because when I look things up, was nothing like this. I think this was how this family, or this was a book for like genealogy, um, telling people's birthdays and how to keep track of them. But it says to, I think that's Har Hansel or Harsel or something, um, from Grandma, to Harsel something Slack from Grandma Slack, December 25th, 1913. But inside it just has some Shakespeare. But then they wrote when people were born and when they died. Like the whole book is like that. So that's what I think that is. And I love genealogy. So of course, like that's really cool too. Of course I love that. And then I got this, the American Child's Child's Pictorial History of the United States by Samuel, Samuel G. Goodrich. It is very beat up, but it is amazing. Like, look at the typography. It is, it's a, just amazing to look at and to know that this was published in 1873. I mean, that's freaking great. This is the kids, like, it explains in here to school children about like Christopher Columbus and then oh let's see what was that one there's different chapters um discovery of John and Sebastian Cabot um settling settlement of Jamestown manners and customs of the Indians Indian tales Pocahontas so I thought that was really cool. And then this one is super duper duper falling apart. See that cover? I mean, it is falling apart, but it is a Bible um, that does have some writing in it. I was trying to see if I can find about the guy that wrote in it, but he wrote in pencil way back when, and it's like coming, you know, it's coming off. But here, it's hard to open this, but I'll just show you this page. The Bible is from 1828. So what is that? Like 190 something years ago. Bad math, guys, bad math. Anyways, now that I'm discussing, that is my haul video. That is all the things that I got. And I spent between the two days about $110. Mm, I take it back. That's not all that I got. Well, I told you about the two books that are in the garage, but I also got these two bowls that are right here in front of me. <laughs> I also got this genuine Fiesta platter in green. Normally, like when it comes to the mugs and stuff, I can't, I've never sold one. Um, I ended up selling a bin that I had of them at my antique booth for like one price because I had the mugs forever and couldn't sell them to save my life. So 
these little things like this, this platter, because it's different, I'll grab it. And then I also grabbed this giant green um, Fiesta Kitchen Craft USA bowl. It does have some wear right there, but this is an older bowl. I got that and I also got a, uh, the confetti splatter bowl, but that already sold. I didn't have that up like 24 hours and that sold already. And I think I wanna say I sold that one for about 30 or $40. So now that is the end of my haul video. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share the video if you will. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. So I get done filming and I turn around and I realize these are standing there. I also got these at the estate sale. Um, this one, this one here says it's from Walmart. And then this one is marked 1988. It doesn't have its light kit or anything. So they'll probably maybe both go in my booth or maybe I'll just keep them. It all depends, but I got those as well. Mm -hmm.